Hey guys, uh, in this video we will uh, derive output of a continuous time LTA system which we also call it as convolution integral. Uh, the way we derive this is same as what we derived for convolution sum. So consider, consider a continuous time, continuous time LTA system. With input x of t and output output y of t with some transformation with some transformation t as shown. So we have an LTA system which does some transformation t input to that system is x of t and output is y of t and this is an LTI system ok the output the output y of t y of t is given by is given by y of t is equal to what transformation of x of t right ok uh, how do we represent a uh, discrete time sequence it is nothing but su summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k delta of n minus k now for continuous time signal x of t instead of summation we write integration uh, instead of n we write it as t and instead of k we take one take a variable tau so tau is varying from minus infinity to infinity x of tau delta of t minus tau d tau so n corresponds to time t uh, k corresponds to uh, continuous time it is tau and summation in discrete time corresponds to integration in continuous time fine so any continuous time signal can be represented as integrating tau varying from minus infinity to infinity x of tau delta of t minus tau d tau so what i do is instead of x of t i'll write this uh, right hand side so y of t is equal to transformation of integrating tau varying from minus infinity to infinity x of tau delta of t minus tau d tau so y of t is equal to i'll take this out integrating tau varying from minus infinity to infinity x of tau because this is just uh, integration of the input signal right so now transformation of delta of t minus tau so uh, and as we know what is the transformation of x of t it is nothing but y of t right and instead of x of t if i feed delta of t what is the output it is nothing but impulse response which is h of t now instead of feeding l delta of t if i feed delta of t minus tau what is the output it is h of t minus tau Right now, what I'll do instead of writing transformation of delta of t minus tau, I write h of t minus tau. So therefore, therefore, y of t and what is y of t? Output of a continuous time LTI system is equal to integrating tau varying from minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. So this is the equation for convolution convolution integral in compact form we can write it as y of t is equal to x of t star h of t and what is star star is nothing but convolution operator convolution operator 